mayor took the lead from a council member who's very in favor from the mayor. Who are you talking about? Mr. Reynolds. I was told by Mr. Reynolds last um, uh, last uh, mayoral run uh, that he, he told me, uh, this is when we are on, on good terms, that uh, he made a deal with the mayor uh, that uh, he would not run against the mayor in the last mayoral election, provided the mayor would endorse him when the mayor was done with his term. So that's what, that's what I'm referring to. And I, and I heard that uh, Mr. Reynolds told me that directly. Do you plan to run for mayor? Uh, I am thinking about it, uh, especially with all the things that are going on right now. Uh, I haven't made up my mind yet. Right now, um, I have uh, a couple years left uh, in teaching, in my teaching career, and I have a full-time business with my driver education business. Um, you know, it, you know, as I said in the uh, at the end of my statement, you know, I uh, I changed my life a little bit after my wife passed away, and um, I look at things that uh, are much more uh, intense on a daily basis. I, I want to live every day, and um, I'm going to fight. Um, what I, I know the mayor thought it was just golf balls, but to me, it, it's completely uh, insane to be charging children the same amount uh, of, of money for an adult for a bucket of balls, and we should be encouraging those kids to get outside. And it might seem very small to uh, other people that um, I, I'm, I'm, in that, I'm, I'm that involved and intense with something as small as that. But I do that on a daily basis. I walk down the street sometimes. I, I see pieces of paper on Main Street. I pick them up. I live there and I throw up the trash. I didn't throw it there. But that's the way, it's, it's the way I look at things. And um, if um, the voters of Bethlehem uh, at some point decide that uh, they don't like uh, my... Um, uh, interest in things and that they don't think I'm doing a good job um, they can vote me out of office and um, if, if they're not pleased with my performance and I'll be glad to go into my uh, driver education uh, job full-time but uh, until then um, I have a job to do and I'm gonna keep fighting for the citizens hey Brian um, okay. back to the, um, the permit issue correct um, October 21st is when you sent the request correct that's what the, the, the memo say here. It was October 21st. Um, Thursday, October 17th, 17th. I, I sent to Mr. Verdoni. I said, Robert, please send this to the mayor. This is the memo I talked to you about a few weeks ago okay. back. And I only want it shared with the mayor, President Waldron, Solicitor Spurk, Solicitor Lisa, and Mr. Evans. The mayor sent back his response to you for the first time, if I'm listening to you correctly on November 19th, the hand delivered last Tuesday, correct? That, that, that's the last, next time you heard about it. That's the first, I, I had, normally when we send a memo, mm -hmm. the mayor and his administration are very quick to get back to us. But that's the first time they uh, right. got back to us. Uh, but, okay. but in fairness to the mayor, I knew it was gonna take some time mm -hmm. to interview his, uh, his staff sure. to find out if it was true or not. I didn't want to rush, and I was trying to keep this okay. behind Here's the scenes. Here's my question, here's Go my ahead. question. Why did you reference the investigation then in a November 16th? I, so if you go back and listen to it, I brought up um, so the, the issues after that is when the issue of uh, her phone call to uh, the Bethlehem Parking Authority board members. But why okay. did you... Okay. So, so I, I, I don't have the transcript from it from what I remember. You mentioned the investigation, though, completely I did. different from the RFP. But why I, did you bring it up? I did, but, but, but I, didn't, I, didn't bring, I didn't bring up the subject matter. You just referenced the investigation right. into this part. Yeah, to okay. the best of my knowledge. And if I'm, if I'm wrong, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll correct my statement. Okay, do you have but, any evidence other than the people that you cannot name and the blog to back up no, that this happened? No, no. It was uh, from, I mean, and, and that's the thing, you know, it, listen, I mean, let's be fair about this. I didn't, I didn't. Uh, I was told something. I didn't know what to do with it. I actually sat on it for a couple months. I talked to uh, two council members down in the garage after a meeting. I had, I had two conversations with a couple of them. And um, I sat on it for, uh, I don't know, for like maybe at least a month, a month and a half. And they, and they knew about it. And they had heard about it. But why, but why bring it up during the so, meeting? So, so what happened was that uh, I was getting stonewalled, I felt, from the mayor. Um, I mean, let's go back and think about this. I talked to the mayor verbally 
on the phone. Uh, and I think I even referenced it in my email. Um, so this is on October 17th, okay? I said, Mayor, as I discussed with you a few weeks ago, I have heard of a number of concerns over the last year or so about the pace at which building permits are being reviewed and approved in the Department of Community and Economic Development. Specifically, employees, both current and prior, indicated there is deliberate inaction encouraged in the department by Director Carner to, quote, slow, delay, and install all permits with the end goal being the hiring of more permanent staff with benefits. I've been told that this issue was also reported by Bernie Hare, and I just, I threw that in there because I didn't want him to think that this was just something that... But you heard about this in June, according to you, right? Why wait until October 17th? Because I had, uh, so I, I talked to the mayor about it. Mm -hmm. First of all, I talked to some council members about it. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what to do with it. Sat on it. I didn't want to rush. Sure. I, call, I, I, I talked to the mayor when I won. Mm -hmm. um, I <laughs> thought that after I mentioned it to the mayor, that he'd look into it. I, I, I may be wrong in the timing, but three weeks to a month went by, I heard nothing. It never came up again. Then I decided um, that uh, I had asked to go into uh, to executive session. I asked him to go into an executive session with all of council. He denied it. Um, and this is before, sometime before October 17th? Correct. Correct. Before my letter. I then uh, asked uh, President Waldron, Ken, and Mr. Spurk, if the mayor will not bring us into executive session, is there a way for us to get into executive session? And he said yes. He said you have to propose it to council. At the next council meeting, I proposed it. I didn't get a second for whatever reason. You'd have to ask the other council members. What do you want him to do? When you say message, do you want him to just, interview every employee in the department? Just, just, just bring him in for five minutes and say, hey, is this true? Hey, I'm going to be totally honest. And I told the mayor, I said, the mayor, I said, if, you, if, if, if there's nothing there, it's over. But, I mean, what am I supposed to do? I'm a city councilman. I'm told something. And I had heard through many different people that permits were taken astronomically long times. Normally, she'll see. Do you have any statistics like kind of comparing the different years to see if any? I thoughts? no, okay. no. But I, I had I had contractors call me. Pe people knew that I uh, um, I was that I had heard about what happened, and I was I was being told, uh, hey, you know, I've been waiting for a permit for four months, for two months, for three and a half months, for four months. Um, I had one individual say it was almost five months. So. Um, so I talked to the mayor, nothing happened. I asked to go in executive session, he denied it, nothing happened. I asked council to go in executive session, they denied it. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go. Why? I have no idea. That's something you have to ask them. Okay. So, so on. So anyways, um, about a, that, I'd say about a month went by um, prior uh, from the time. And, and all of you who were at city council meetings know I brought, I was so angry about it, so disturbed about it. I think I brought it up, I think I asked council to go in executive session for a month straight at every, well, maybe two months because I think it was over four meetings. And all I wanted to do was, hey, we need to get in the executive session, find out what's going on. For whatever reason, it, it didn't get there. So I think about another two weeks to three weeks or maybe a month went by, and that's when I penned, that's when I wrote the mayor, the memo on uh, October 17th or 19th. Okay. I think I sent it to him on, I think I sent it to Robert on the 17th. I think the mayor was out of town. You could talk to Mr. Vidoni, but I think Mr. Vidoni probably sent it to the mayor on the 19th, so that's why you're getting along with the dates. Okay. So, um, I sent it, so I talked to him verbally. Nothing happened. No action. I asked to go to executive session. He denied it. Um, I, uh, I asked council to go to executive session. Denied. Um, I sent a memo, and I waited a month, which I gave my, you know, I think I told him on there, you know, I, I, I'll quote it in a second. Um, I, I, I asked him here, I said, uh, um, I, I'm asking that Mr. Leeson and Mr. Evans interview the current members of the department, along with former uh, 
employee to determine if, if, if true, because I didn't know if it was true or not. Um, I wanted them to find out if Ms. Carner did instruct her department to slow delay install permitting process for the state of reasons. I said, I trust Mr. Leeson. Now, remember this. The guys that I'm asking to look into it are the mayor's guys. It's the mayor's BA, Mr. Evans, and the mayor's solicitor. And that's all I asked. I said, hey, you know, I trust those two. You, you know, they're your guys. But I trust those two to, if they come back and say, hey, there's nothing there, I'm done. I, you'll never hear me say another word about it. 